Hi, everybody. It's 8.30 and I'm hoping that Derek has managed to get Andrew to bed this evening so that we can have a live uh, with him so that we can find out how Holly is doing. Um, Holly's gone very quiet um, and she's had a horrendous couple of weeks um, in St. Luke's Hospital in... Um, hi, Helen. In Dublin. Um, and she is... Uh, relying on Derek to pass on the messages uh, to all of the supporters. Um, everybody has been incredible. I've been doing the best I can in relation to updating the fundraiser, um, of which we have two, one GoFundMe, and the other is on the Facebook page. And, um, and I can only transmit um any of the information that I get from either Holly or Derek and they have been really inundated um with trying to get uh Holly's pain under control. So I'm hoping that Derek can uh make it uh now at half past eight. I know initially we had planned on being on at eight o'clock um but then he messaged me to say could we leave us until half past eight so I'm only assuming from that that he was having uh, difficulty getting little Andrew to bed. Here he is now, actually. He's after joining us. Here's 9D Diagnostics. I'll just see if we can find him for you. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Just waiting for him to connect now. God, there's loads of people. We're connecting. It's great. Derek. How lovely to see you, Derek. I actually thought that you'd have great difficulty tonight. Did you have difficulty getting Andrew to bed? <laughs> no, I have um, I brought cable ties home from, from work, so I just cable tied him and he's grand. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's one more story has to be done and, you know. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, I know. And um, he's only four, so one story is never enough, is it? Um, and particularly... No. When you want to do something, it's very important that they try to delay you as best they can. And uh, Derek, yeah. th thanks a million for coming on this evening. Um, like I, I put it up on the fundraiser about an hour ago to say that um, that we were going to do a live and yeah. um, and that anybody who had any questions in relation to how Holly is doing would that maybe you might be able to address them. But for starters. I mean, there's there's three of you affected here, and um, can we start with how Holly is doing? Yeah, she's getting getting there. Um, it's 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 slow progress, at the, you know, at the moment. So I think you know the start of it was just trying to um, get the get the pain under control. Yes. So she could actually get the the, the radiation over. You know, she couldn't she couldn't lie down. So um, which was that which is a big problem. So to yes. to do the radiation, you have to be lying on your back which um it, it was quite awkward so yes um, they managed to they managed to do it with 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 pain relief and then uh relaxers and stuff like that but it was still it was still quite quite sore i think you know some of it was it was very sore um so like it only takes i think it's something like seven minutes um and then there's a, maybe a couple of minutes beforehand to line you up with the lasers and all that type of stuff. So they they're making sure they're hitting the radiation where they need to hit it yes. on the scan. So it doesn't it doesn't really take that long. But when you're in agony, you know, yes. seven minutes is like seven days, you know. So yes. Um. So it was really just trying to get that get that done. But um, since they changed the 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 pain medication, it seems to be a lot better. Um, I didn't think the the other stuff was working. I think what's it called? Oxy. Quantum. Yeah. So yeah. we're just looking at it there. So there's loads of it sitting over there. Yeah, well, um, you can send some of that down our way, actually. <laughs> so I, better not, I better not say that too much. I'll have no, people breaking no, in. No. Oh, we're it. already joking. <laughs> but um, so they, I'm not sure what they changed it to, but it seems to be work a lot better. So she's on a driver where it pumps in a certain amount over 24 hours. So. Yeah. That seems to be working a lot better. So, it, it, like, she's going forward. It's just, it's just taking time. Like, you know, when you take into account, you know, like it's four weeks of being in quite excruciating pain, yes. and then five days of radiation. And you know, radiation just on its own is quite demanding. So, you know, you're gonna be tired. You're gonna be, you're gonna be physically and mentally tired from it all. So, I think it was kind of starting to take its toll in that regard. Where you know, the body was just kind of saying, "Hey, listen, you need to sleep." 
Um, yes. So with, with the new pain meds, she was able to lie back um, a bit more in the bed um, and get some good night's sleep and then sleep in during the day. So um, today she was um, she, she was out doing a little walk. Um, yes, that, um, that was wonderful, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's that's good. Like, before I got down today, the the um, physiotherapist had come down with, uh, you know, one of these walker yokes on wheels. So if she needed to take a break, she could. Yes. Um, she didn't take kindly to me joking about it. I probably joked about it too early. But, uh, <laughs> so she, Wait, we're on she our went way to paint it all pink and purple and put sparkles and everything on that walker. No, I was just saying, well, I can send you down. You can when you're home. Said, I'll send. You can send you down the shop and. You know, get a few things, and you know, I, I got a look of, I got a look of daggers, you know. So I was like, okay, moving on. <laughs> but uh, I mean, she went out for a walk with with the physiotherapist force, and then when I came, then the the palliative care who look after the, all the pain meds were, yes. were were in with her, just chatting away to her. They were, they were going to reduce one, one or uh, a muscle relaxant that's in the driver. They're just going to bring it down a bit. Um, um, so they're just kind of reducing some of it and then seeing what the effects are. Um, okay. So the idea then, is to give her enough pain relief to keep her comfortable, but to also keep her from going to sleep all of the time. Would that be right? Yeah. Like, you know, I think there's, with, with all the drugs that's in the system, there's, there's, that, there's the combination of everything. There's the combination of obviously the radiation, the lack of sleep, then all the drugs in the system where the body is just, and you're kind of like, well, which which one? kind of is it so yeah um but look the pain meds are gonna are going to do that in any way yeah um so uh, i think they're just looking at you know and plus you don't want to be on this stuff forever either so yeah i think just looking at re re reducing it a bit and I'll, oh, i think the ult ultimate goal is to you know to get holly on either some sort of a patch or um tablet form um so she can you know um, so get she can home get home stuff, you know? okay so derek so the five radiotherapy sessions are done now um, and that was the goal to get those five done. Is that it for the radiotherapy point of view or does she have to have more? Um, no, that's it for a minute. Um, so um, they don't, they don't seem to do, I would have thought, you know, you, they do a scan maybe afterwards, but I think they just monitor it and see what, yeah. what, what it's like and stuff. So, yeah. um, but you know, they do say, it, it can sometimes uh, make it worse before it gets better, yes. which I think is what kind of happened as well. So yes. um, with the change in pain meds, it seems it, like it was at the point where Holly was on the driver, like, you know, I don't even know the dosage, it was quite high. Yes. Um, now they do say, look, that doesn't matter because no. it, it, the way they were describing it was, you know, pain is like a sponge. So, you know, it'll soak it up as much as it needs. So even though it could be, let's say a high dose, let's say for a, 80 milligrams or what have you you know you could give that to me and it would like, floor me because yeah. i don't need it so and um, they're kind of say look don't the no and i said to holly this as well so look, the number is really just for them to know what's going in the system yes and um but um i think that with a change when she was on that driver and then she was getting breakthrough painkillers pain as well yes. injections and at one point she was getting them every hour and a half yes and you know, t just to get her through the night and stuff. So she's not doing that now. Yeah. So, like last night, um, she didn't have any extra pain relief um, until she finished the, the with the physiotherapist today. And, yes. You know, it's after doing a walk, so you're gonna be a bit sore, you know. Absolutely. And the other thing is, Derek, can she now sleep in in bed as opposed to sitting up in a chair like she had been? Yeah. Well, they have them. Um, they have the beds now where they the back goes up and it all. So hydraulics, yeah, yeah, sandwich like a toaster. I think yeah. if you if you kept pressing the buttons, yeah. so you know she was up upright, and then you know it's been going back and back. So it was nearly. I was looking at the angle of it the other day, and it was um, probably seventy degrees. So that's that's pretty nearly on your back line, you know. So fab, um, fab. Oh, I'm delighted. You know, I'm absolutely delighted. Now, I know I'm asking questions now because it's what people have asked um, because they they uh, they knew you were coming on and I only gave them an hour to ask questions. But um, from a medical point of view, Derek, the next part of the journey is is chemotherapy. Is there talk about that right now? Um, no, um, I think it's 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 really just get it, get the pain under control. And then, you know, I suppose it 
bit of bit of healing going on there. So that's ha- that's what's happening at the moment. So um, we've no date or whatever to go back into um, chemo into back into oncology. Yeah. Um, now the um, our oncology um, he popped his head in the door. I think it was was it last week or the week before? I think it frightened the shite out of Holly. You know <laughs> when he popped in, you know. But um, <laughs> he, he was like, "Look, when you're finished, come back into us." You know. So um, I think that's the plan. When she gets home, we we, we may get in contact. You'll with her, work so on that, okay? And the Laron Lamab then, obviously, the trial drug is ongoing. Are you bringing that into her? Yeah. So she had um, number six today. So that went brought that in today. So she done that today. Yeah. And then I had to. Um, they wanted blood samples, so they had to go back. Um, had to do them last week. That was a bit of a that was a bit of a rigmarole. Now they do everything for you. Like everything was there, we just had to get the bloods drawn and should they do that in the hospitals? That was grand. Yeah. And then I had to send them back through FedEx. Um, the and, yeah, so it was all packaged. All I had to do was put it in the package and then get FedEx to come out. But sure, I'm not at the house. You know, I'm gone in the morning. Oh. So I was like, well, how am I going to do this? Like, okay, right. So I looked up. I said, there has to be somewhere you can drop it off. So there was a, a drop-off point in, in Ratgar. I was thinking, oh, happy days, right? Ratgar is just, just here. And then... Hospital's just here, so I'll drop Andrew down to my mum's. Yes. Go down and drop the bloods off to FedEx, and then I'll go down to see Holly. So I go down, and I'm looking for this place, and I'm, you know, you're like, I'm like, where's this place? Mm. Like, oh, you know, and um, it was gone. You know, it it's on a website, there. but it's gone. So I went to your man said, "Is this a drop off place?" And he's like, "No, they're gone. They're in town." So off into town, um, over to the north side. I'm sure I get there, um, and there's a FedEx sign outside the building, and there's a little sign due to COVID, you know, everything's due to COVID. We're not, we're not here, you know, so I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. So oh, no. the, only other, the only other drop out point was out in Santry. So off out to Santry, you know, so I was just kind of, it was, it was, it was first world problems, you know, it was just like, if they had to put on their website that these two places are closed, I would have oh, just went to right out. Eric. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry that happened to you. And you know what, actually, there are so many people there in Dublin who want to help. So I'd say maybe the next time, all you have to do is just put up a notification, say, lads, is there anybody around that can take these bloods to FedEx? And like, they'd be quite happy to take the, that, burden away from you um are you are would you be happier to do it yourself um probably i well probably what i'll do next time if if um well it's next month the next one is so that, that shouldn't be an issue but really i think the, what i should have done was i should have brought the everything in with me and when we drew the bloods i should have just uh, got fedex to come to the hospital Absolutely. and collect it from there so, you know. Okay. All right. Oh, you poor. It was, blonde, it was a blonde. It was a blonde moment on my part. You know? uh, well, I don't think so, actually, because I mean, if shit's going to happen, it's going to happen there, and like at a time that is really crucial. I mean, you tend to sort of these things happen, and like who planned on COVID? You know, um, God, yeah. I, I would have thought that they would have been a bit more efficient than that to actually put a notice on their website to say that they had moved. Yeah. Anyway. Bad anyway. for listening. For <laughs> uh, okay so hang on a second now i've got questions here uh how long is it i suppose this is going to be a difficult question to ask how long is holly going to be in saint luke's and is when is it possible that she's going to be able to get to go home oh she'll be definitely coming home yeah um, yeah it, it it just i suppose it, it depends how it's like anything it's how quickly the body um heals yeah. and yeah now, the last thing you want to be doing is, like last week she wasn't talking about coming home. Today she is. So, you know, when you start talking about wanting to come home, you're starting to improve. Yeah. So, um, but uh, the last thing you, you, I suppose you want to be doing is is rushing a small bit and then coming home and then kind of go, oh. I've got to go back in again. I, I shouldn't have. I, I should have. I, I should have stayed in maybe in, in another day or two because yes. even, even coming home, even though you're not doing anything, it's still a little bit, you know, it's still a bit overwhelming as well sometimes, you know. So, yes, um, yeah, we're just playing a boy. We're just playing a boy here. But, okay, you know. so yeah, no, I I expected that to be the question to, to be the the answer. Anyway, uh, next question. Next question, Derek. Is the hospital happy with her progress? Yeah, yeah, they are. So, um, I I think you know they have to be in regards to the, you know the with the pain being being reduced, less painkillers going in and getting more sleep um eating more and then getting out and 
actually doing some walking and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, because when you're lying down and you'd even note yourself, actually, if you were lying down a bit for a certain length of time, your muscles get that bit weaker, you know, and it takes a bit of time to actually start to build them up. You'd even note yourself if you were in bed with the flu, you know, you'd have that whole fatigue for a while because you actually need to build up uh, your muscles again. So uh, yeah, the fact like, that getting going is great. I was saying, I was saying to Holly, I was just saying, you know, so look, like realistically, it's four weeks you're doing nothing and it's two yeah. weeks in bed. Yeah. And I said, look, when I, years ago, I, I, I damaged um, um, cartilage on my knee. Yeah. And within, within a couple of hours, the, the muscle was gone. Yeah. And I said, it, it's that quick. So, it is. Yeah. You know, so, but look, you said you bounce back. Everyone does, you know? Yeah. So, and she will too. Okay. Now, how is Andrew coping without his mommy? Yeah, he's fine. He's grand. Um, he's kind of that kind of child. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, he's not there running around, where's mommy, where's mommy and stuff, you know? Um, the only day was, um, one of the days when Holly had gone down for the radiation and um, the nurse rang me to say, look, she's done and she's back and she's asleep and what have you. Um, we were in the van driving back from my mum's and he was like, is that mommy? And I was like, no, it's, it's the nurse. And then he was kind of getting a little bit, when's mommy coming home? And of course, you kind of, you know, he's four, so he doesn't get, you know, you can't say, oh, he goes by, you know, sleeps, you know, because when yes. it was coming to the we're like, you know, five, five more sleeps, so you kind of, kids can get sleeps more so than anything. Yeah. So I didn't want to say, oh, it should be home, because I was like, oh, I have no idea what went, you know. Yeah. So I yeah. just changed the subject quite quickly, and he was fine. So, but other than that, no, he's grand. Um, okay. Can you get to mm -hmm. see her on the iPad or something? Um... Not really. She hasn't been really, really, really up to it. Um, so we haven't, we haven't really been doing that because I think that would probably be worse. Potentially upset him more. Yeah. As well, you know. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's wise, actually. Um, and I think you're right. Uh, okay. Uh, now, the journals. What's the story on the journals? <laughs> <laughs> I've had so many messages say I can't buy the journal. I, have you pulled it for the minute? Um, I think so. I think Holly went in on. She had to go in on the back end of the website or something, and um, no. So it obviously worked. Um, if you can't buy the journals, because she's like, <laughs> I was trying to do it. I don't think it worked. But in fairness, you know, she was doped up on oxycontin, so yeah, it you know she didn't think it worked. So I'll tell her tomorrow it worked. You can't. Yeah, because what was happening was, you know, like, like somebody would buy, buy them. Like, we had a list of, of, of who had bought them already, so a lot of them went out. Yes. Um, and then as people are buying some new ones, there is one or two stragglers that are still there, I think. Um, but it was just kind of, I didn't have access to it. And I was just kind of, yeah, it just kind of went on the back burner a little bit. I was like, yeah. so we said, look, we, we close it up, did the, the, the journals for, for a bit. For now, yeah, and I think that was wise as well. I think she, yeah, like you needed one less issue, even though there was there was hundreds of people who were willing to take over the the whole journal sales, packing, uh, postage. Uh, we had one girl down here in Cork whose dad, um, Mandy, um, whose dad had a she had a big shed. Her dad had a van. He was retired. They were going to Dublin. They were taking the journals. She has a degree in marketing. She was going to take it all over. Um, and then, uh, anyway, it's, I think uh, Holly just decided that it was just, it was just too hard to get her head around it and, and didn't, you know, want to let go. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, yeah, there's, and, yeah. Yeah, there's that, there's, there's that as well. And then it's kind you know, it's kind of, um, it's, it's, you know, I suppose it's like our, our own baby project type of thing, that's you know, right. so, you know, you're handing it over. So even though, like, that's great that somebody's got to do it and stuff, I would have handed it over, yeah. Do you want to come yeah. up and uh, walk on a few cars, did he? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I mean, it's only just pause for the minute. That's, I mean, it's not as if it's gone forever. It's just pause for the minute. And yeah. until she's in better fettle, I think it's wise to sort of, you know, I, I, I can see, I mean, I, I even know what my own business that um, I, I'm very slow to let anybody come into my business and we all do things our own way. And yeah, I, I can understand that. Uh, okay, so yeah, the journal on pause. All right, uh, Derek, how are you, Derek? 
I, I, I normally say to people, yeah, I'm living the dream, you know. Um, <laughs> Come in here, Gary, and say hello. Gary's here to say hi. <laughs> Can you let us see your face? Come in here. Hi, Derek. Hi, Gary, how are you? <laughs> You're not living the dream, sweetie? Yeah, look, you just get on with it, you know. Um, that's just the way it is. You don't, you know, I don't... I know we're in the age of, you know, everyone's in touch with their feelings and, you know, mental health and all that. Get the boat, you know. I've got a fire all to look after. I've got a yes. wife to look after. Yes. You know, how I'm doing. I'm doing fine. I'm You're plowing on. Yeah. Doing it, okay. you know, and that's it. And, you know, just things have to be done around the house. And, they do. you know, the day yes. gets, the day, the day goes in quite quick, you know. And, yes. Yes. Yeah. I think that, so, I don't do it. The weirdest part is actually being in is being in is in the hospital because you come out of it and like I'm not doing anything. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm sitting there and I'm keeping an eye on Holly and when she's awake, I'm chatting to her or whatever. And, and you come back and you're knackered. I'm like, what you are you are. doing? You know, it's, it's well, you are. Know. You're emotionally present, and that actually takes a lot of energy, to be honest. Um, uh, even though you think you're not doing anything, you're doing a huge amount um, by being present. Um, Derek, can I ask you, um, if it's not too personal, where are you at with your business? Have you decided to pause it totally for now? Ultimately, yeah. Um, no, there, there, there is one or two there were, one or two jobs that are in the background where, you know, they were in for work and you diagnose a problem and they want to get it done. So it's, a, it's kind of a bit hard to go, no, I'm not doing it. But other than that, no, I just kind of blocked Blocked everything out for the yeah. remainder of this month and most of the next month. Um, and I'm just kind of looking after what I need to and everything else is just, you know, I just, I, just, I, just, I, I don't have to, I don't have the time, especially when I'm big. If it's something small, it's not a problem. But if it's, if it's a big job, it just can't be done, you know. Like, if, no. I, I yeah. wasn't in the position in my, it, it, where I am with my business to have someone and working for me, um, you know, someone you're like, whoa, just made the, uh, just made the bills there. So, it, yeah, it just kind of, just put it on pause for a minute and look. Okay. Start again, when, you know. So, if I'm not being too personal now, so you have no income and Holly has no income. Only what the state is providing. Well, yeah, so I would, I would be down, so Holly would be getting the, obviously, the... the um, A disability? Disability, yeah, that's it, yeah. Yes. Um, so yeah, there is there is that end of it there, and and you look, you know, there's the there there is the um the GoFundMe that's that's there. So that's kind of that's taking the pressure off. Where yes, because if that wasn't there, I'd be I'd be trying to work, you know, and yes, I have to, you know. So you know, you'd be trying to work, trying to get down to Holly, yes, trying to look after Andrew. Something's gonna give, yes. Um, so I'm kind of uh, look. The last thing I suppose the last thing you want to do in, in, in any situation, I know a lot of people, you know, I look at a lot of different motivational videos and stuff like that. And, you know, you're looking at some people who are quite successful and stuff, but like, you know, they'd be talking about different different things in their in their business and you're kind of going I kind of look at it in regards going, you know, I'd rather look back in four or five years' time and kind of go, well, and rather than having all oh, great successful business and oh isn't nineteen do, doing great or whatever. I kind of go, yeah, but I didn't do what I should have done because something got neglected, whether it was not going out to visit Holly and not yeah. missing what the doctors were doing or it was yes. not keeping an eye on Andrew. So I'm like, you know what? Um, might be great business sense, but the business can kind of can sit there for a little bit. And I just, you know. I so applaud you and I really salute you in relation to this. Your place is to be with Holly and we will keep the GoFundMe going, Derek, for you to be able to afford that time to give it to your wife and to your child. That is where your energy should be. Um, and if we can keep the GoFundMe going, uh, which we will be doing our best, there are raffles going all the time in order to be able to focus that so that you can spend your energy with Holly. It's the most important thing right now. Um, no point in you half having energy for a business that where you are torn and you need to be inside in St. Luke's and 
that's where you need to be. And when Holly gets home, you, well, you have to be there anyway. Um, you have a double job then. You're looking after Andrew and Holly. So that's yeah. two, that's the work for any, like that's more work than any one person can actually, you know, be able to manage. So I think um, if we can take the pressure off you in relation to um, finances, um, we will keep the GoFundMe going and we will extend the date and we do more raffles and we do our best for you. Um, uh, Helen Cody's uh, raffle of her dress was probably the most astounding thing that actually gave such an injection of um, attention to uh, Holly's trial. And so, like, we will keep that going. You have my word on that. Okay, next question. Uh... <coughs> Do you bring in the Laurent Lamad into the hospital? I don't know who asked this question, but anyway, is it in your possession? It is. Yeah, yeah. It's in the fridge. <laughs> it's, beside, it's beside the milk. <laughs> so, Come down to early in the morning. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Derek, so you've got eight, eight weeks uh, supply of that. Isn't that right? So the next... When was two weeks, just two, yeah, two weeks are left and then there'll be, um, there'll be a new supply on the way. And then what we do is we send... We send all the old stuff back. They want all the old... Um, the injections? Yeah, vials back and Vial, stuff. Yeah. And it, all, it all gets shipped back um, okay. to them. Yeah, well, I suppose they need proof that you gave it to her. Yeah, and there's forms to, um, forms to fill out and stuff as well. So uh, that you, when you do the injection, you fill it out what time you've done it at and you know, so what time it went down on the left side and the right side. And um, There's nothing the major there, you know, it's... It's, it's straightforward enough, you know. Um, so, yeah, so basically that's um, cited in pharmaceuticals. They just they just need to mm. make sure that the whole protocol is being followed. And they have been so kind in actually shipping the drug to Holly as opposed to Holly heading to the drug. Now, Derek, I mean, I've never said this to you before, but how did Holly travel to San Francisco in the pain that she was in? How did she do it? Well, it wasn't that. That was the funny thing. It wasn't that bad. Um, you know, she she was on obviously a low dosage of um of oxycodone, but it it wasn't that bad. It it's, it's weird how thing things work talk, work out. It was only when she came back and when a few days it started to ramp up, um, and it just got you know as the days went on, the pain just went up and up and up and up and up. So right. over there, it wasn't it, it wasn't like excruciating it was like it was it seemed to be okay you know so what a woman yeah i I actually i because i have a lot of oncology clients as as uh, my clients um and my business opened in the last three weeks and it's the one thing that all of my oncology clients was following holly's trial and holly's story have said how in the name of god did that woman go to san francisco in the pain that she was in because it was she wasn't long back and next thing it seemed to sort of just escalate um so i mean even that trip a round trip um to san francisco in 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 a three-day trip that would like that would knock the best of us in the best of our health um yeah. and, and it, wasn't, it wasn't even a direct flight the flight coming back was a nightmare so oh, for yeah. heaven's sake i mean it was just oh and then the the running from one terminal to another and oh sweetest lord i yeah, that is one for the books, I have to say. Okay. Um, right. Next question. We're, we're coming to the end of now, Derek. Um, have you managed to get the genetic testings done yet? No. I'm trying to think which ones. No, we haven't. Um, we haven't. I knew that they were about two or 3,000 each, and we, I was always happy that we had enough money for those. Yeah, no. What's, what, so... We had them lined up, um, and one of the oncology doctors, um, what did he say? What should have known? So basically, it's, they're not sure with the with the with the sample that they got from Holly's liver of the cancer, yes. um, because it was taken. I don't know when was that last year. Yeah. It was supposed to be an old sample, and to do a test on it, it mightn't be as reliable. Okay. So there was two. There was two options: do that 
um, test again, and they basically stick a needle into your into your through your rib cage into your liver, and they take yeah. out the a section of the cancer, yeah. which that wasn't too pleasant. No. Um, um, or the the looks like the it'd be the same test, but they can do it through um a blood sample. It's yes. just waiting on FDA approval, and they reckon it was going to happen. The, the approval is going to be given within, within the next two weeks. So we kind of say, I said to the nurse, well, look, well, then hold off and we'll see yes. if that approval comes in and, and we'll do it. But, you know, you still got to pay. So, yeah. Okay. So it has, we, we, that's the only reason that we, we, it hasn't gone ahead yet. Um, or the option was, was just, just use the old sample and see what it came back. So we'll see what, if they can do the blood sample. Yeah, and ultimately, I mean, you know, the, the GoFundMe uh, money is directly going into yours and Holly's account. So it's up to you how, how you choose to spend it. I know you don't have health insurance. So, you know, you can make that call and we'll keep, we'll keep fundraising. So, like, don't ever feel that you can't do the test. I know you're waiting for the FDA approval now, but don't delay because you haven't got the money. So, you know, just do it because we, we'll get the money. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I just need to say that to you. <laughs> and last question, Derek, and then I'll be able to let you go. Um, have you had time to explore the oncologist who specialises only in triple negative breast cancer in Europe? You probably haven't had a chance to do that, have you? No, no, not yet. No, no. no. Okay, you've had enough on your plate. Yeah, yeah. So just get through this, th this end of it, you know, like, you can't do anything when you're when you're in that much that much pain. So no. um, it was just really get the get the radiation in to try and shrink that that bit of cancer that's in the in the bone on the spine, um, and get the pain management under control. So yeah, that seems to be working. The radiation should be doing its job now. So um, and then it it'll be get back into um, into James Oncology and and uh, probably start some sort of chemo again. And then once that ball is rolling we can because that works better with the with the um the trial drug as well so, yes yes yeah. so that would be the that'll be probably the that's a key at the, at, at the moment you know so and then yeah we'll we'll we'll, we'll look at that and we'll take it from there yeah and you can't rush yeah. these things either you know you've just got to sort of take it on a day-by-day -day basis i know you'd be sort of uh, just keen to sort of get things moving but not at the detriment of somebody who just needs to rest and yeah and then there's a lot of i suppose there's a lot of variables as well in in, in regards to you know okay look you might you might find a specific specialist who only does it and they're the best in the world but you got to travel over to them and yeah even though it's europe you know, it just doesn't look like um, any easy task to be to be yes. traveling traveling around and stuff. No, and, no. You know, it was it was bad enough. Like it's bad enough traveling um, uh, pre COVID. You know, standing a you know standing a queue and somebody scan you and touch you up and all that type of stuff. You know, I'm all for a good groping, but um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> she's usually my wife doing it, not some bloke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you, you do all, you know, all you do all this stuff and arms here. And every time, I, every time we go through them, go through it. You know, they, it it always beep and they're standing over here or something. You know, or, so I always, I always get. I think they just do it. I think, I think they, they like to look at me. You know, I will give them a bit of a feeling, You know. Yeah. Well, you know, I suppose Derek. I mean, uh, poor old Holly was heading to the states where. At a time that, you know, like, it's well, I know it's spiraled out of control altogether, uh, COVID-wise, in the interim period. But uh, thank God that she, you know, she was okay when she got back. Uh, yeah. When she considered she was actually heading into a quagmire of, you know, or a cesspit of COVID. It seems to be sort of totally out of control. So, I mean, thank God that, you know, she didn't get that as well as everything else, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well... You know, it's how to count it as well. So oh, who, I know, who knows I know. As I, as, I, as I say to a lot of people, say, so look, it's an election year in America. So just take everything with a pinch of salt. Everything, <laughs> anything, anything can happen. You know, it's a it's a race for the for the White House at the end of the day. So <laughs> there's all there's the all dirty tricks going on. But um, <laughs> yeah, know. no. Exactly today there was a, a letter came in somewhere um, where Holly got a COVID test and it's like it's dated back in July, you know, so you only get it now or whatever. Um, early July and it, it was negative. We're like, yeah, you kind of knew that. <laughs> yeah, you kind of knew that all the time. Okay, last thing, and I'm actually going to go now because I'm sure you want to have a, a cup of tea. Um, 
Derek, um, messages of support to Hall, is it actually a good or a bad thing at the moment? Does she, would she prefer not to be getting them to her phone? Um, I don't want her to be overwhelmed. Um, and I'm quite happy to continue to screen the messages. Um, but is, what is way, she, tell what me, way tell me about them? it. What I way will you screen them? them? Uh, yeah, if they can always send them to me if they prefer, and then then when she's well, we can actually just forward them all on to her. Yeah, look, I wouldn't say be anyone not to, not, not to send them. So she's not going on social media anyway, you know. Yeah. Um, so, social media can be sometimes a bit of a, a a minefield at the best of times. So you know when you're when you're trying to get yourself in a in a position of of health, sometimes going on to social media can you know can be the best thing. So. She has been going on to any of the any of the stuff, yeah. um, so yeah. But look, keep sending men or send send them to you, and when she's done and back to herself, it's always looks. It's like I suppose, like you know, when you're in, when you're in back in before phones and all that, when you're in hospital, people will send you a card. Card, um, yes. And you you wouldn't read them, but when you got home, you'd read them. You know, so it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay, that, I think that's a fabulous analogy. Absolutely fab. Will we wrap it up, sweetheart, and let you go to, go for go to bed yourself? Yeah, yeah, I'll go to bed at some point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will you give Hal our, our absolute best? Um, no, yeah, I miss, I miss our chats and and, uh, uh, and we thank you for every single day, every single day and the ultimate uh, and big, huge greetings from from us here in West Cork. Um, I know that Helen Cody has... Um, there's a huge raffle coming uh, soon, but we can't hold it until we have what is being raffled in our in our fist, and we haven't got it in our fist just yet. Um, so that will give a huge injection to the GoFundMe when we actually get whatever it is. I better not let it slip. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what is it? <laughs> Yeah. I'll text you at the other side. It's just like <laughs> we can't announce it until we actually have the tickets. Oh, ooh, I, until we have tickets for something. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll be hoping that we actually get the prize soon and that we can make the announcement um, and we can actually have a raffle. Uh, Evelyn Woodard, who is a very well-known photographer down in Kerry, is holding a raffle at the moment for a studio portrait. Um, and we're not looking for a huge amount of money for that. It's just five euros into the raffle and they're in with a chance to rent a studio portrait um, uh, in, her, in her studio um, for that. And um, so that's something that's keeping us ticking over until we actually get the other big prize in our fist. Um, but every, every donation helps in such a massive way. So we'll keep it going, Derek. For you, for Hal and for Angel. Yeah. Well, if anyone wants, well, I do. I tell you, you're saying, do I need help with anything? So Holly was doing a doing doing a jigsaw before she started, and it's, it's all over the kitchen table. <laughs> I'm in here, Gary's Gary's going See to you, say Derek. good night. Good night. <laughs> night. Good night, Derek. Well, maybe actually you've got five minutes now. You can actually do that jigsaw. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, it's not like it's not like it. Does it does it cheat for or anything like that? You, you get a picture and you, know, you have to use you have to use your brain. There's no going on to Google and how do you do this? And somebody just goes in. No. Good night, my lovely. Okay. Bye, Derek. See you. Bye bye. Bye, love.